What's up everybody and welcome back for another streaming tip video. Today we're diving into the exciting world of chatbots. Whether you're a seasoned streamer or just starting out, having a chatbot can take your channel to the next level. In this video we'll walk you through step by step on how to set up your very own chatbot using stream elements. From engaging with viewers to managing commands, we've got you covered. So grab your coffee, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is head on over to streamelements.com, go to login or get started. If you haven't already connected your account, which I have already, it will ask you to pre-authorize with Twitch. So click on connect with Twitch. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click on chatbot, click on settings, and you want to connect it to your Twitch account. So let's go ahead and authorize this with Twitch. Okay, so once you're connected to Twitch, click on modules. So here we see a couple of modules that you can actually enable in your chat to increase engagement. From chat alerts, roulette, bingo, jewels, emote pyramids, and raffles and more. So I'm gonna click on chat alerts, enable eight ball. So from here, I'm gonna head over to Twitch and make stream elements a mod on my channel. And once you head over to your channel page, click on chat and input the below, hit enter. As you can see, I've already made Stream Elements mod on my chat before. And then we're gonna head back to Stream Elements. Okay, so once you've set up Stream Elements as a mod on your channel, we're gonna head over to chat commands and enable a few there. So previously before, we have enabled the eight ball module, so we don't need to do anything here. There's a couple of more commands that you can actually mess around with that I haven't enabled here already. One of the handiest commands that I have enabled is my timer. From here, we can set up our socials to go off every five. 10 minutes or any other events that we have coming up on the channel let's go over and set up a timer okay so here's a couple of timers that i have set up already that i don't have enabled so let's click on one of them and i'll show you how to set one up so this one is a follow timer for anybody new that's coming into the chat just to remind them to hit that follow button when they tune in and over here you'll see online interview minutes every 10 minutes now i would change that to possibly every 20 minutes we also have the option for offline intervals or every 30 minutes from when we're not live here you can actually input the message that you want to pop up every time i click on save that's now saved from my timer and i can enable that when i want or disable one of the handiest timers that i have is for my socials and if you haven't already set up all your links in the one place in linktree also you can set up spam filters for using caps link protection emote protection paragraphs and much more you can also create a group for banned words you can also set up some custom commands so here we have custom commands that i've already set up before let's go and check out the shadow command that you can use in your channel so once you're in custom commands click on add new command and you want to set up your command to SO, which stands for shout out. Response type is say. And user level is moderator. Now you want to set this to moderator because you don't want anybody to be coming in and just spamming the chat. And the response type is the message that you're going to use that's going to be inputted in your chat. I'll leave the variables down below in the description that you can just copy and paste. And I've also created other custom commands that I will leave below in the description. The likes of hug, coffee. Irish coffee spank it's just up to the streamer who wants to reward it so have a mess around with your chat commands and come up with some of your own ideas because you'll definitely see more chat engagement when these are all enabled also here's how to use the commands in your chat so i'm going to make a coffee for myself so it's exclamation mark coffee and at the user in the chat which will be myself and just hit enter and there we go we just brew the coffee up for ourselves and you would follow the same rule for any commands that you have set up well that's it for this tutorial and setting up your own chatbot if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Until then, keep creating and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.